today's video, we're going to talk about setting up inventory to use in the midnight print calculators. The first thing we'll want to do is go to our warehouse module. If we were setting up a new inventory, we could come over here and click on the button that says new inventory item, or we could go ahead and select an existing inventory item. For the sake of today's demonstration, we're going to go ahead and look at an existing inventory item. So we'll click on this paper. And when we look in here, uh, there's a few things to note that were really important. Uh, one, every paper needs to belong to a customer. Uh, for that matter, every inventory item in Midnight must belong to a customer. Now, if this is house-owned inventory, then you should have your business as a customer inside of Midnight. Uh, item type. Now you want to select an item type that corresponds to something that's available in one of our calculators. And this was covered in the item types video for the print calculator. In this case, we have paper selected and that will show up in our midnight print calculator. Uh, something else to keep in mind here is that uh, if you want this piece of inventory to be available to select for any job, then we want to make sure that the global checkbox is checked. Uh, this will allow that piece of inventory to be used no matter what customer is selected. For sheet inventory, we're going to always use a base unit of measure as each, and that will automatically fill in the display and PO unit of measure as each uh, as well. Uh, if we were selecting roll stock, uh, we would select inches and this would allow us to have our most granular uh, method of keeping track of that roll inventory. Now you could have a display unit of measure if we have inches selected, uh, we could have uh, feet selected as the display unit of measure in that case. Now if we go to the paper details tab, this is where uh, everything that is really important as far as the print calculators are concerned is going to be filled out. Now, a lot of these fields, uh, while are valuable from a reporting perspective, uh, only a few of them are really required to make the calculators function, and those are the ones I'm going to cover today. So if we're talking about sheet material, we want our material type to be selected as sheet. We want to make sure we have our parent length and width defined. Uh, having a caliper defined is important for using the uh, cutting functions in the print calculator. A cost per M sheet is required if you're going to use this piece of paper in the standard print calculators. A cost per square foot is required if you're going to use it in the wide format calculators. The run rate factor percentage, uh, this will slow down or speed up the press uh, in the regular midnight print calculator uh, if this field is filled out and this paper is selected. So if this was a heavy stock that tended to slow down your press, you could uh, enter in that it would run at 80% of normal. Uh, also in relation to the uh, traditional print calculator, choosing whether this is a cover or text stock uh, is relevant and choosing whether the stock is coded or not. Uh, this coded checkbox does affect the ink consumption formula for offset presses. Now if we had roll selected as a material type we're able to put in parent roll length and parent roll width. Keep in mind that both of these fields are in inches. Uh, we could define roll weight and also caliper is important here for using our cutting calculator. Uh, similar fields exist here for coded, run rate factor, and whether it's cover or text stock. And then on roll presses we can choose what, how we want to price uh, in the calculator for the traditional print calculator as far as C weight, cost per roll, or cost per foot. If you're using roll stock in the midnight wide format calculator, then your cost per square foot field is what you would use. Additionally, you can use the paper markup field to inflate the cost of the paper uh, before it actually uh, gets to the print calculators. Uh, 